We met Thanks. in 1938, oh, and it was yes, a train. Was, yeah, I was going to say a steamship on a train. <laughs> Both uh, traveling uh, to Berlin. Mm -hmm. I know. We met in 1996. Uh, <laughs> I had been told how wonderful Tina was as a performer, and I was really excited that not only was she so talented, but that I felt very comfortable, and we had a lot in common. In the mm -hmm. world, uh, in the gigantic world, Tina and I are very, very similar. We were sort of a uh, an arranged marriage, and a comedy marriage, and that this woman, Sharna Halpern, who ran the theater we were at, she's like, oh, there's a girl here, you guys are going to really like each other. Yeah. Yeah. And she put us on a team together. And yeah, I just remember thinking that Amy was super cool. When I first met Tina, she actually came to a Groundling show that I was doing. She was very sweet and reminded me. I was so brand new. I came at the end of the season. There were three shows left. And I didn't really know anybody. And it was terrifying. And then I met Amy the following year. And I remember just instantly like, oh, she's one of us. This is easy. When I met Tina, I was a uh, like an usher. Uh, for the Second City Theater, which is a big improv theater in Chicago, and where Tina came on stage and made me laugh so hard that I was just like, oh my God, this is a genius. And then Amy had come back, uh, she had already left Chicago to go to New York to form the uh, UCB, and she came back and taught a workshop, and I just remember being like, oh, I'm in love with her. She is like the coolest, funniest, you know, uh, most interesting person.